Hi dear students, this is the lesson 3 and we are going to learn expanding a pair of brackets. Also we studied about the similar uh, in the first video, but here we are going to multiply a uh, two term bracket with two term, which means that we are going to multiply all the terms of the first one by the all the terms of the second one. Ex uh, actually this sentence is explaining the shortly briefly this one. Okay, then uh, what we are going to do here for expanding the expanding means we are going to multiply this one because this operation between them is multiplication. X times X, I have to multiply X times X, then this should be like X times X, then X times 5 it should be. So I'm multiplying plus X times 5. Then we fin I finished uh, uh, by the first term. I finished to multiply the uh, all terms of the second term because there are two terms here. First, I multiply x by x, then x by 5. Now I start with 3, then 3 by x, which is equal to 3x, 3 times x. And 3 times 5, it has to be plus 3 times 5. So I put all between them multiplication sign and I arrange this plus and minus with respect to the sign of a multiplication of these two. Let's say when I multiply plus x times plus, the result it should be equal to plus x times plus x, which is plus x squared. It has to be. Then x times 5, which is equal to 5x, we know from the previous operations, plus 3x and plus 15. Here uh, I have to explain this one here, and this is very important because 5x and plus 3x only can be added here, which is equal to 8x, because they are only the like terms. So you cannot add x squared by 8x. That's very important. You cannot add x squared by 8x or 8x by 15 or x squared by 15, because these are, they are not like terms. We can add only like terms together. Okay, the next one, 2x times, 2x minus 3 times, 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 6, which is equal to here. When I multiply like this, 2x times 3x, which is equal to 6x squared. I have to write directly now. 2x times 3x, you know, we are going to multiply 2 and 3. I'm going to multiply here 2x times 3x only. For this one, I'm going to do. And 2 times 3, you know, that is equal to 6. And x times x is equal to x squared, it has to be, which means that we are multiplying numbers by numbers and variables by variables. So then we are going to continue with the second one, 2x times minus 6, it's going to be equal to 2 times minus 6 is equal to 12 times x, minus 3 times minus 3x, minus 3 times 3x is equal to minus 9x, and minus 3 times minus 6, it's going to be equal to plus 18. Again, only the like terms, these are, and minus 12 and minus 9, minus 12 and minus 9, you know, minus 12 minus 9, when the signs are same, we are going to add them, 12 minus, uh, minus 12 minus 9, it's equal to minus 21. So the answer is 6x squared minus 21x plus 18, it has to be. Okay, let's continue with this type of exercises here. There are some specific cases. Firstly, you need to remember this one. You know that a square of a number multiplied by itself, which means that when you see the parenthesis square here, this number by itself, it should be multiplied, which means that 7 minus 5y times 7 minus 5y, it has to be. Then, you know, expanding the brackets, all the terms of the first one uh, multiplied by the all the terms of second one, which means that 7 times here 7, then 7 times 5y, minus 5 times 7, then minus 5 times minus 5y, which is equal to here, 7 times 7 is equal to 49, I'm writing, 7 times minus 5y is equal to minus 35y, minus 5y times 7 is equal to minus 35y, minus 5y times minus 5y, which is equal to minus 5 times minus 5, which is 25, y times y, which is equal to y squared. So the answer, it has to be 49 
minus 70y plus 25y square square it has to be so we finished this one let's continue with the other one 3 times 2x and, and then 3 plus 2x i'm sorry 3 plus 2x times 3 uh, minus 2x if you multiply one by one here 9 3 times 3 is 9 then 3 times minus 2x is equal to minus 6x 2x times 3 is equal to plus 6x 2x times minus 2 it should be equal to minus 4x squared this is equal to 9 then here 6x and minus 6x we may simplify because they are common terms i mean with different sign same number 6 and 6 here but minus 6 and plus 6 so when you add them up they are going to be 0 then this is going to be equal to minus 4x squared by the way we have here conjugate case conjugate means when you when you have 3 plus 2x the conjugate of 3 plus 2x it should is 3 minus 2x so when you multiply the conjugates like a minus b times a plus b always you will get the answer like a square minus b square and this is called algebraic identity okay this is the last one we are going to multiply 4 times x which is equal to 4x then 4 times 2 which is equal to plus 8 minus 3x times x is equal to minus 3x squared minus 3x times minus 2 plus 2 it's going to be equal to minus 6 minus 6 x it has to be yes it's correct then here again i'm repeating only the like terms 4x and minus 6x which is equal to minus 2x it should be minus 3x squared i'm writing at the beginning then plus 8 it has to be this is the answer of our question